Hey, what's going on guys? Rock here. We're going to play a little team deathmatch on Warhawk today and uh, I wanted to make a video a lot sooner than I actually did. It uh, just kind of got put on the back burner yet again uh, since I made my return video. Uh, my daughter actually was in a pretty severe auto accident and that kind of took precedence over making videos at the time. She was okay. She's all right. She's fine, but it was a pretty serious you know accident she was beat up pretty bad from the airbags and everything but physically she's okay and for that I'm thankful I think the car itself had a lot to play in that it was a very large car it was a Mercury Grand Marquis actually the car belonged to my father and uh, she was driving it and unfortunately it was totaled it was a pretty bad accident but like I say the car I believe saved her life due to its size and uh, it really made me start thinking, you know, since I stopped making my videos, you know, at the end of last year or, or middle, actually, first of last year, I have lost every single car that uh, we had here in the family through, through very, very obscure accidents. And uh, I thought I'd kind of share with you some of my, my car buying tactics because we've had to replace three cars here in the last six to eight months and uh, this most recent one like I say it was my father's car that was damaged in the accident but I ended up having to buy my daughter a car and uh, what I've started doing I, well real quick I'll give you a brief breakdown of what's happened my, my daughter had her car accident my son not long after Christmas he was uh, sideswiped by a car pulling out of McDonald's it uh, it ended up tweaking the frame on the car so they ended up totaling that car as well and then back sometime towards I guess it was end of summertime last year 2013 we had a lot of really bad severe weather here in Georgia and one night we had a lot of high winds and thunder and lightning but it was high straight line winds and it, uh, it actually took a neighbor's tree and toppled it over onto my house and when it fell on the house it also fell across the driveway and these huge limbs crushed my my pickup truck so when they finally got the tree off my truck it had crushed the cab down and uh, my truck was an older truck it was a great truck I loved the truck but it uh, they ended up totaling that as well so in all three circumstances all three vehicles have been totaled so we had to replace those vehicles and uh, what I've found Here's some really good sound advice if you're looking for uh, your first car. Maybe you're a younger person, teenager, and uh, maybe you're looking for that first car of yours. Or maybe you're a parent like me, a young parent, that maybe you're needing to, to replace a car or buy a, a car for your child. Here is some sound advice. When you're shopping for a car, here's what you want to look for. If, especially if you're going to you know, get one from a dealership. Uh, you know, naturally, the, the best scenario would be to find another individual, someone that you know and trust, and you know and you're familiar with the vehicle, and you know its history right off the bat. Say your, your buddy has drove this car for years and you know all about it. Uh, that would be a really good situation right there. But uh, most of the time, you have to go to a dealership and you have to buy something off of a lot. Here is some really good advice that I'm going to give to you right now. Go to your premium brand dealerships. Uh, my truck, when I had to replace it, I ended up going to a Cadillac dealership and I found this car. I did not buy a Cadillac, but what I did buy, the reason the person traded that car in at that dealership wasn't because there was anything wrong with it, it's because they wanted a Cadillac. Perfect situation to get a perfectly good used car. Uh, with my son's car, when we had to replace it, I ended up at a BMW dealership. I did not buy him a BMW. Uh, I ended up, we did get him a premium brand automobile. But because, the only reason we did was because it was a super deal. And we could not pass it up. Uh, but the person that traded that car in at that BMW dealership did so because they wanted that BMW. Uh, wasn't because there was anything wrong with the car that they were trying to dump it and trying to get rid of it. And then same thing here most recently with my daughter. We ended up at a Lexus dealership in Atlanta of all places. Uh, I generally try to buy locally. Uh, 
close to middle Georgia. Atlanta is the furthest I've ever gone to buy a car. And uh, I actually found out about this car on the internet and uh, we went up there to take a look at it. And I ended up buying this car from the Lexus dealership. And it's not a Lexus. Same thing, the person that owned this car traded it in to buy a brand spanking new Lexus. So it's it's really good way to to get a car when you're when you're worried about see something that you always think about when you're buying a used car is oh god what's wrong with it why did somebody get rid of this did they dump it you know is it a lemon uh, one thing when you buy a car from a, a Lexus dealership or Cadillac or Mercedes BMW etc you're getting something more than likely uh, that somebody traded in because they wanted this premium brand more than they had you know what they had before uh, if you go to a, a Toyota dealership or a, or a Chevrolet, Ford, etc., Kia, I would never, ever, ever buy a used car from a Kia dealership or a, or a Hyundai dealership. Um, you're probably not going to get these same types of situations. You're going to get old, ragged-out cars. Whereas if you go to these premium auto dealerships, you're you're more likely to get a one-owner trade-in car that was traded in because they wanted that premium car so that is my advice to you guys uh, check those premium lots when you're looking for a good used car and uh, I know you've seen the funky little commercial on TV with the Fox advertising for Carfax uh, it's actually a very very sound and useful tool guys check the Carfax on the cars you can get a wealth of information from those you can find out how many owners uh, all three cars that I have bought now were all one owner cars. Uh, great, great way to get a good used car is a one owner car because usually that one owner took care of it. So check the Carfax guys, check the premium auto lots, and maybe you can get a really good used car deal. That's going to do it guys for this one. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay. We really didn't talk about it, but I just wanted to share with you those used car buying experiences. I will see you again really soon with another video here on the old YouTube channel. Have a great day everybody.